seven essential tools to start, run, and grow an online business. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson, a former high school math teacher, turned to a lifestyle entrepreneur and a business coach or strategist. I help people grow their businesses, which is so cool because it's just a different extension of teaching. Today, what I want to do is I want to talk about seven essential tools to start and grow an online business. So there are a lot of different tools, but these are the ones I think that you really need to focus on to get started. The first one is kind of research tools. Like we talk about a niche, we talk about keywords, but I want to talk about finding keywords and how to structure your content. So if you have an ad account, probably the best place to go is go into your Google ads and do a keyword research. Yes. They have amazing areas of what you can do. The second one, and I use this a lot and I've done a tutorial on this is called answer the public.com and answer the public.com. What it does is you can type it. There's a, a free version in the pay, but if you do the free, it usually lets you do one, maybe two searches in a day. So what you do, you, you type in your keyword and it'll give you different ways you can ask questions about it. So if you type online business, it's gonna go how to start an online business, where to get go to an online business, all these different things. And then you can download them into a CSV, or like a spreadsheet or you can take pictures of it. I, I do the spreadsheet because then I highlight which ones I, I want to use. So that's the first one. You got to research and find out which things you should be using, which, what you should be talking about. The next one, is, number two, is where are you going to host your domain and your domain name? Well, currently what I do, I, I use, and you can Google these, I use Bluehost. I'm, I'm looking at another one through a good friend of mine, but I like use Bluehost. I've really enjoyed it. Um, the domain name, I've always used GoDaddy, but there's Namecheap. And you just go out and you, you can actually search if a domain name is available and then find the one that works right for you. The third one is payment. How are you going to get payments? Well, I use two, PayPal, which a lot of people do, but I, I really prefer Stripe because I believe it's a little bit more secure and PayPal out of nowhere can hold some money up. And that's never happened to me, but I know it's happened to some friends of mine. Okay. So we've done research tools, hosting and domain names, payment. The next one is where are you going to store things? Right. You know, we talk about if you're building a business, we do lead magnets. I'm not going to get into the lead magnets. Well, what I do is I use Google drive because it syncs to everything in Google. And it really is a lot of storage in there. And, and there's ways you can make folders and put things in special places, but I use Google Drive a lot. You can also use Dropbox. Now, Dropbox will let you use some for a while, but then you have to pay for it. So I prefer Google Drive. The fifth tool is how are you gonna design things? Right, and that was the hardest thing for me for a while because I wanted to design, but I didn't want to pay a lot of money because I, I just wanted something to find free. Well, there's a great tool called Canva, right? And you can get Canva Pro and there's a lot of tutorials on, on YouTube. I'll do a tutorial. I use Canva Pro a lot because I, I design my images for my websites. I design my images for my social media. That seems to work really well. So the next one, you need an email provider. Now there's lots of them out there. Um, I started with Aweber and there's ConvertKit. Currently I use Active Campaign. I, I think it's the, the one of the best email providers I've ever seen. It works extremely well. Um, there's also, you can get started with MailChimp. It's free, right? It, ConvertKit's free for a while. Active Campaign has a free trial. But what Active Campaign does is just a really robust email provider. So, and, and then the seventh one is a, I don't want to say a workspace, but you want, need a project management thing. And I use, you know, I grew up with a 
I don't want to say a planner, but it, it was, and I just made notes every day. Here's what I got to do. This is what I got to do. Well, but now you can use Trello and Asana, and they do amazing jobs of keeping anything together that you need to continue to work with. I'm in a coaching program with a friend of mine, and he uses Trello, and he, he has it set up really cool, and if he puts something in it, it comes right to all of us. We see what we're supposed to be doing and working that way. So those, I believe, are the seven essential tools. Now I'll highlight them again. You need a research tool. That was the first one, You're right? Answerthepublic.com. That's probably the best one for you. You can also use Google's ads if you have an ad account. The next one is where are you going to host your website and a domain name. So I suggest a Bluehost, GoDaddy, and Namecheap. Third one, you need a payment. How are you going to get paid? PayPal and Stripe. Fourth is cloud storage. Where are you going to put your documents and things? Google Drive or Dropbox. Fifth is how are you going to design things? Canva. And at time, go to Canva Pro. The next one is the email provider. Active Campaign, MailChimp, Chimp, ConvertKit. And then the work, another one is a project manager. That's the last one. Trello and Asana. That's what I suggest. So I hope you got great value from that. I really did. If you could, if you're listening to this on YouTube, watching it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, follow it. In the comments below, tell me what tool you use the most of. Which one of these has helped you the most? If you're listening to the podcast, follow it. I'd love it if you give me a re review on iTunes and also, you know, share it with your friends. Drop some comments in there. I would love to hear how this helped you. So there I have it. You to all take care and we will talk to you soon. If you want me to teach about something, please reach out. Tell me what you want to learn more of, of any of these tools. If you want me to do, I do have an answer to the public uh, tutorial in my YouTube account. Um, but I can do any one of them for you. So there you have it. You all take care. We will talk again soon. Bye.